interrupt this program. This is now that part of the program when we show up. Hello, everybody. Hope to, uh, everybody's doing well. Um, here I am again doing this live stream thing on kind of an odd night. Um, we've got some stuff going on over here, but you know what? Um, we are going to look at toys and take just a moment to um, enjoy life and uh, celebrate it. So we're going to do that today with a fun little toy um, that I've been sort of uh, sitting on for a long while, a couple of months now, um, kind of like the other ones that I've had. They've been stacking up, um, and that is here. And while you're sort of looking at this, this is a plunderling, um, I just want to quickly say hi to the very small chat, um, but it's okay. It's good to see folks. Um, so right now, would um, absolutely love to say hello to Quip. How are you doing? And this is where the pun begins. Um, because I had said that we are actually going to go ahead and try and keep it short and sweet tonight. Um, and there definitely is a pun intended there, given the figure that we're looking at today. A super short and a super sweet fig. Um, okay. And uh, what's up, Highly Articulated? I know you won't be able to hang out um, for the live, but thank you so much for stopping by, as always. I was inspired by you, actually, to do this during this um, fun little holiday break. All right. So with that out of the way, let's take a look. We know what we are here for. We are here for this amazing figure at least it looks amazing from all the photos i've seen from the reviews i've seen um this entire line looks great and um, as you can see in this awesome box it's just a super fun box it actually takes me back to the um boglins days um and here we have um so it's sorry the fong grotto from the plunderlings line by lone coconut came out um march 21 from what i could figure out and that rear artwork right there is um is, as you can see that's done by ralph niece i hope his name is pronounced um very cool fun little box um you know they've got i love this little breathe hole right <laughs> for this creature again it reminds me of the boglins back in the day that can came in this like crate that would contain this very very cool toy um but I'm going to go ahead and um, jump in to the unboxing. So let's, let's see, what should I do here? All right, let's go ahead and focus on um, this. All right, so the plunderlings um not sure if folks have a plunderling in their life um but this is an amazing line of these really really cute little creatures um they're kind of demony looking um super cute animated style huge eyes um and you know awesome sort of like illustrated mouth we'll get into the the style in a little bit but I saw this, there was a sale, um, and I just figured, you know, I, I kind of am curious to check it out. So, um, oops, doing, did I cut that? No, I did not. Anyway, let me do my thing. Curious, do other folks have um, a plunderling in their life? And it looks like there are folks who do joining us in the chat we've got jay from geek dad life i'm super uh super grateful for you jumping in thanks for coming through to check it out and uh he still has yet to go down this rabbit hole um yeah i you know was curious a lot of folks are sort of into this thing open this thing up right out of the bat we've got right off the bat out of the box got a Two different heads, two alternate heads, two additional hands, and... Ooh. 
pretty. Take a look at this. I, if you haven't figured it out, I'm kind of a sucker for aesthetics. Love me some packaging for my graphic design days. Um, no, it takes a lot of work and I fully appreciate the love that goes into these things. Um, let's see what it says in there. It says these toys were constructed. Oh, I love it. These toys were constructed and hand painted with gray care. Please carefully loosen the joints after unboxing. You may need to apply heat with a hairdryer. We hope playing with these bring you the same joy and happiness we felt while making them. We're extremely grateful for the fans that brought this project to life. For more information, visit plunderlings.com, which is absolutely, absolutely right up my alley in terms of the sort of cr acknowledging the craft, acknowledging the labor, the design. Awesome. And Quip chimes in um, with some experience. Packaging and the figures are great. It's a line I know, but can't start because it'd be hard to stop. Um yeah, and I think with me, um, I definitely am having a great time kind of coming back to toys after so many years of really being focused mainly on Lego. Um, so coming back to action figures. And I will just say I'm by no means a completist. I did that as a kid. My brother and I were lucky enough to have parents who were like, we'll get you toys, but... You're going to get the toys you get, and you're going to focus on that line. It was it was a weird kind of discipline thing, I think. They were like, you're going to collect. You're going to build a collection. My mother was a doll collector. And uh, she was into it, I guess, from that angle, and was sort of like, if you're going to get Star Wars, you're getting Star Wars. So I was born into a house that already had a Star Wars collection. Um, I'm five years younger than my brother. so. Um, that said, now that I'm doing this whole new modern collection, I'm really careful because, uh, <laughs> I'm taking their advice. I'm assuming they said, warm it up for a reason. And if you know any thing of how I approach these things, I get a little lazy sometimes and don't bother heating things up. I'm not gonna mess around. Because this is a, a line that's totally unfamiliar to me. So I'm going to use my handy-dandy NECA stands here. Ooh, yeah, they are definitely tough. I have a, a heat gun available that I might mess with that. But let's just go ahead and take a moment and take a look here. You you dance for a little bit, Plunderling. Um, this is what the loadout is. Cool little weapon. Saber-type deal with some little scallops. And a pan flute, I guess, sort of, kind of thing. Um, Zamfir. And these awesome heads that I've already sort of pointed out. They come right out. Okay, I was rambling. Modern collecting. To address what uh, Quip was saying, I am not a completist. So I don't worry too much about feeling that need to like, oh, I've got to get... A bunch in a line. Um, I get what I like, and I I do have the ability to stop because at this certain point, I don't have a choice, given uh, my space limitations and my budget limitations, and the fact that I am a geek dad uh, who has two kids to think about. I don't have a choice. So, truly, truly, truly. And you can watch my channel to figure out if I'm a liar or not. I'm. This is going to be my only one. And there are folks on the GDL Discord. When I said that this was going to be my only one, they laughed. But I don't know. Fairly disciplined, dude. Hands. All right. Um, people have asked me about why I wear the gloves sometimes in these, these videos. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share that another time, actually, because I think if I point it out, uh, it's going to distract you. All right. So let's get into this figure. It's awesome. Um, 
visually for sure i i obviously can't really mess too much with the articulation right now and maybe i will maybe i won't if you've seen some of my videos i'm not exactly like hey i'm here to review it and show you every little thing about it because uh that's kind of not what i'm into oh look at me see now i'm just being sketchy yeah okay they're movable they are a little stiff they seem sturdy even though i've been looking at those uh horror stories of Hasbro's Dungeons and Dragons stuff recently. It still hasn't freaked me out enough to not be lazy. And anyways, I'm trying to figure these things out. And I, I love the construction of these. The heads are awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> thank you for applauding my discipline. The discipline goes out the window when it comes to things like don't be lazy and heat up your uh, figures before you start. Uh, trying to play the articulation. Um, and I didn't want to fixate on it, but uh, Jay, a highly experienced uh, YouTuber, maybe has a sense of uh, why I wear gloves. Um, it's kind of almost that. It's kind of my own thing. And, and Jay, you'll appreciate my discipline in this case where I've never actually mentioned it. Um, but uh, I, I have this thing with hands and... And so um, I just felt like, at least in my videos where I have some control over it, if I can limit the distractions, I will. Um, I have these, yeah, I don't know why. Anyways, that said, from a design perspective, take a look at this. If you're just looking at this shot, I've got black gloves on and you can see this thing just sort of pops in my hand. It's, it's, um, it's also a way to kind of like honor the visuals of what's going on with this toy okay right off the bat i'm distracted these things are amazing i'm looking at this fawn look at these um horns the detail on those horns now it's more of an animated style so it's absolutely simplified um but you can see that it's sculpted in there and then but really once we get to the the body and the face we're going for a real simple aesthetic they they felt the need to include a badonkadonk uh, it's a little shallow, but you know, here I go again. I'm gonna judge. Um, but this one, and part of the reason I chose this one was because of those fawn legs, right? Those little goat legs. And um, I wanted today to definitely show this uh, creature off, but I kind of wanted to also figure out if this line, which, yes. I said it will be my, this will be my only one. Um, will work with my other figs. So, um, and I've got other fawns in my collection, right? Um, from Mythic Legions, we've got this guy, and then. Spoiler alert, one of my top five figures of the year, uh, Afarius. Man, he's such a big boy that I'm going to have to do some adjustments. Ooh, look, but BTS behind the scenes. Um, I'm a sucker for the sort of like animal human hybrid thing. So whether it's centaurs or fawns, um, we got a plethora at the brick something home. So if we take a look, does this work? I mean, clearly this is a more animated style, real super simplified deco um, straight out of a comic or a cartoon or an illustration. These definitely, despite being fantastic creatures, have uh, a much more photorealistic approach, much more photorealistic uh, aesthetic that they're going for. So, yeah, one might wonder, does this actually work? Stylistically, as far as, like, uh, let's see, the character genre-wise, absolutely works, right? Um, whether we're dealing with more human or elf-like characters like this one or a fawn. Um, whether we're talking sword and sorcery, let's do some, uh, let's mix in some storm collectibles. 
Um, yeah, I think that's not an issue, right? These are fantasy creatures with fantasy people with 80s hair and ridiculously stylish bikinis and swords um, and having a hard time standing, but she'll hang out with the centaur a little. Storm collectibles with their peg lid. With their, uh, they don't have the little peg holes in their feet. And yet I'm going to struggle here. All right. Um, yes, I'm absolutely partial to the wee beasties. Um, so stylistically, genre wise, they, they work. Sorry, genre wise, it works. Stylistically, it's definitely a challenge, right? We've kind of got this more illustrated simplified big head etc i figure you know what he's one character i think if at some point um i want to get brave with the paint i could actually paint this character in a way providing a little bit more sort of details all of these characters back here just to bring out some a wash to bring out the horns a little bit maybe a little bit around the eye but he's a you know the, the eyes are all black i could go for that that works right if he had pupils that might be an issue, very manga looking, but all black eyes, the nose might be an issue, but what can I say for me? I create the rules on my shelf. This works well enough. And so at the end of the day, am I thinking this works? It absolutely does. Um, what else did I kind of want to show you? Maybe some other characters. Let's see. Uh, here, Super 7. Here's another thing, right? So while we're on the conversation around aesthetics, um, you got characters like Monkey in here. Um, definitely the Thundercats line is modeled more after the animated series. So their aesthetic is a little bit more on the sort of animated illustrated style. Um, but you know what? It all works. I grew up at a time where uh, you know, if you w looked at the old Kenner vintage Star Wars line, the aesthetics changed from wave to wave. Sometimes they were really cartoony and awkward. Others, they were um, trying to be more photorealistic and whatever. I kind of just looked past it. So for whatever reason, I'm good with this. Let's do Masterverse. Um now, again, this is with a custom head by Hordak MX, Jose Luis Morea. Um, it works. Again, slightly animated, but whatever. That said, I know I'm talking about a plunderling here, but for me, it really is about um, achieving this kind of weird little world that I've got on my shelf, and that plunderling absolutely works uh, for me. Um, I really... Let's see. Oh, see, you know me better than I do. Here we go. Come here, buddy. That's right. It's the folks with the horns. The slightly more metal variety. Krampus says, look at me, look at me, focus on me. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, we've got a relatively horn-laden, dare I say, horny situation. Um, that's what we've got going on. So, all right. Well, I actually don't have a ton to say other than just sort of showing you the figure. Uh, I, again, I'm not a big articulation person. Maybe I could show you that elsewhere. This is not actually about me telling you if this is a good figure or not for you to buy. I, um, I think he looks great. I think if I heat him up, and I'm not really going to take the time to do this right now because life is calling. Um, I think... This guy's fantastic. I think the plunderlings are, uh, if this is an example of, of what's in this line, are definitely something to be checked out. 
Um, but you're going to have to, you know, figure out the, the articulation. What I will say is that, as I've said in several of my videos, there are some people who do a great job of going through that. D Amazing, Toy Bro, Dork Lair. Um, they'll take you through it. They'll do some comparison shots. I don't want to mess with that right now. But um, I really just wanted to jump on here while I have a little bit time off of work um, and just open up some toys that I have not messed with in a while. So, um, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, if I could just sort of share that uh, and share the commentary. Jay uh, in the role of Kayla Silva tonight. All right. So I am not going to tell you what to do because we all love what we love. We do what we do. We have the toys that we want to get. Um, you can figure that out for yourself by just looking. Sure. Put your hands on it. How to do that again? I am not yet the pro toy tuber. Anyways, like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet, like this Fawn Grotto. He is super cute. I didn't even show you the weapons. You know what? That's fine because I think this this guy's a little. He's a lover, not a fighter. I think he's a mischievous little dude who's gonna go around and kind of mess with these people that are taking life way too seriously he's like dude why so sad why so mad chill out come on we're good we got horns all right folks with that i'm gonna say thank you to the chat thank you to all those who actually came out all two of you to this stream i really appreciate you coming through um i am definitely probably just gonna be jumping on and doing a uh as many streams as i can the next couple days while i have a little time off um and if you want to join me that would be amazing otherwise i take these videos i tend to shrink them down a, a little bit the live streams do get a little bit of rambly and repackage them on my youtube channel so with that, please consider doing the whole like and subscribe thing. Um, it, you know, I'm, I am actually trying to grow this channel, but kind of doing it, I guess, weirdly in my own way. Um, a little bit maybe too casual for folks. Super appreciate folks coming through. We've got Adam from Highly Articulated. Um, perhaps you do. Perhaps you do. All right. So I will take it from the experts read what Jay is saying, and I appreciate it if you would do so. All right, folks. That's pretty much all I've got for you. Thank you so much for coming through. I will check you uh, on the next live stream. Just take a look wherever you figured, uh, uh, wherever you found this info to come jumping on. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks, folks.